Hello, I'm Maria. And I live in Badalona, a city near the beach in Barcelona. I'm studying the degree on primary education in Autonomous University of Barcelona. I'm on my fourth academic year. And I'm doing the specialization for being an English teacher. In fact, I have been doing some teaching training in two different schools in Catalonia and one in England where I taught English kids the Spanish subject. Moreover, almost every day I do private lessons to young kids so my mind never stops thinking new activities for learning. Going back to university, on the first day of the technology enhanced project based language learning lesson, I was. Yes, terrified. Lots of new information was coming up and it was hard to understand everything. So I told myself to stop being stressed and to calm down in order to understand the main information. It was the first time I heard that type of approach and I was completely lost. Technology in education. It sounded good but how was that going to be achieved? In fact, we are living in the 21st century, the technology era, in which kids are born with a mobile phone on their hands. They know more about technology than we do, so we have to take advantage of their technology interest to improve our lessons and make them more engaging. But how can we as teachers deal with technology in our classrooms? I was not that bad on technology, but I have realized that I was. After seeing how many different tools we have available online and we only use two of them for everything, I have ended up with the idea that there are lots of things to learn. On Wednesday's subject we have worked into so many different tools and so we have done for doing our learning reflection. And now, I can say that I am more a technology teacher than before. Moreover, technology enhanced project based language learning is not only use technology to learn, but also how to integrate technology in the classrooms in a meaningful way. Make the technology a must and not an option. So, now that I have the tools, I have to be able to create a project in which technology is needed to develop new knowledge. Actually I have done that but I haven't implemented in a real context yet and this is what most afraid me. There are several things that you have to take under control before carrying out such a difficult project. For instance, you need internet connection, computers or other gadgets, another collaborative partner and so other items. My next challenge is to carry out a telecollaborative project using the knowledge that I have now and which I have to keep on learning. Technology is an infinite world that we haven't discovered yet.